Hello everyone. Today I am going to be showing you how to use a leaf from outside to make a print or a copy. So the leaf acts a lot like a stamp and we call this print making because we are making a print of the leaf. Now when we do this we have to find the right kind of leaf first. Um, you want to be careful to avoid leaves that are curly when they've started to curl up, that's really hard to use. Um, I also don't recommend leaves that have a lot of tips to them that are pointy because those are actually really hard to color with the marker. They have a tendency to break off. So my favorite kind of leaf to find is this type of leaf that's kind of like a football shape or an eye shape. Um, even those can be kind of curly though. This one's got a little bit of a wave to it going on. So that one could be a little bit harder to do. So the flat, kind of just fell off the, the tree type of leaf is gonna be your best choice over something like this that's starting to crumble and fall apart. Or something like this that's completely dried and curling up. So finding the right leaf is a good idea. Trying to make sure maybe it only has one point is gonna help you with this. If you wanna try one that has more than one point, um, that's fine. There's lots of different leaves that'll work for this. You just have to be really careful when you're coloring the tips of them. So when you are doing this, you also need to get some markers, some washable markers ready um, and paper. So I actually took and tried some different papers here. This is copy paper like you find in a printer. Um, this one is called cardstock. So that also goes in a printer, but it's a little bit thicker of a paper. And then I tried a white construction paper. Now, obviously all of these worked. Um, the one thing I would say is that the copy paper, because it's so thin, it kind of rolled up really fast when I, I got it wet. So you do want to be careful if you're going to use that. Um, you just have to be ready for it to kind of curl up real fast. Now, I cut my paper into quarters. So I folded it in half and cut it down the middle and then folded each of those halves in half and cut them down the middle so I had little pieces. I didn't want to use the big piece. Um, so that might be something you ask an adult to help you with. Um, to make the right size paper to do this with, but you do wanna make sure your leaf fits on it. All right, so when we're getting started, we wanna make sure that we use the back of the leaf, okay? So the front is obviously a little bit more colorful, but it's also a lot smoother, and that's not gonna work well for us. Um, the print that we make is only gonna show up because of the bumps from the veins on the leaf. So you want the textured side that has the veins on it, not the smooth side. The smooth side doesn't work as well. Um, once you have your paper ready, and you have your leaf ready and your markers, you can start coloring and it's obviously up to you. I chose fall colors for this, but I mean, you could do rainbow, you could do any color grouping you can imagine. So maybe for this one, so that we can see it really well, I'm gonna do blue um, and I'm gonna make it kind of blue in the middle and then purple near the edges. Now, when I'm coloring, I wanna try to avoid the tip a little bit and try to color more with the side. And it helps if I hold the leaf from the little stem part that's there and kind of work away from my hand. Obviously, the more color that you get on the leaf, the more color you're gonna get when you do this. So if you don't put a lot of color on here, it's not gonna show up very well. Um, the other thing to think about too is the edges. So if you forget to color the edges, it's not gonna look like a leaf when you're done. So try your best. All right, so I've got most of my blue here in the middle. And then after I do that, I'm gonna to switch to purple. I'm gonna do purple near the edge of the leaf. So you might find that you need to put something under your leaf when you're coloring, because you might get it on the table. Um, if you're working on a nicer table, then you might wanna protect the table. I'm working on my work table, so I'm not really that worried about it. But I do wanna make sure I'm getting the whole edge of the leaf. So see, I got a little bit off the edge there, and that's okay. And I'm actually mixing it into the blue a little bit too, so I'm gonna get that blue-violet color. So once you've done this, and you've got the whole entire back of the leaf colored, then you are ready to get your paper wet. Now, you, if you have baby wipes at home, those work really well. Um, if you don't, a, a wet paper towel will work too, but you need to make sure you squeeze out the extra water so it's just damp. All right, so my leaf is ready. I'm gonna try this with copy paper first, and I'm using a baby wipe, because I have those here. Um, if you, if you have your paper towel, notice when I squeeze this, there's not water coming out of it. And that should be the same thing for your paper towel. So I'm gonna kind of ball it up a little bit and pinch it. And then I'm gonna hold the paper with my fingertips here on the edge and kind of work away from my fingers and get the paper just lightly wet. Now, make sure you'll see sometimes 
This one seems to be okay. It might curl up on you, so you have to be careful. Um, and then I'm gonna flip the leaf over so the marker side is down, and I'm gonna set it down. And then once I set it down, I can't let it move. It has to stay put. So this might be something, if, if you're a little bit younger, you might want an adult to help you with, and they can help you hold it. But you're basically gonna press your fingers over and over on it. And I'm not pressing with my fingertips, I'm pressing with the flat part. Um, so I'm gonna do that here on one half of the leaf while I'm holding the other half. And then I'm gonna switch it up and do the other side. Now, printmaking is one of those things where sometimes it works well and sometimes it doesn't. So every once in a while I like to take a peek and see if it's working. Because um, I might notice I missed a spot. Maybe I didn't press on a spot all the way. So it helps to take a peek. All right, so once you think you've got it, then you're gonna lift your leaf up and you should see a print of your leaf and you can see all the veins and the colors that you chose to use. Now, you might be able to use the same leaf more than once without coloring. So if I try this again, I'll do it on my cardstock paper this time. Um, I'm gonna get that paper wet and then we'll see, I might be able to get more than one without having to color the leaf again. Oh, that one's starting to curl up. All right, so I'm gonna set it down Hold with one hand, press with the other. And then after I do one half of the leaf, I'm gonna hold that half and do this half. And then we'll see if it worked again. And it probably won't be as dark this time because some of the marker is obviously not on there anymore. But a lot of times you can get another print to show up. So we'll see. All right, so you can see that one didn't show up as well because most of my marker was already off the leaf. Um, it showed up a little bit, but you can see where there's a lot of it missing. Now. Um, for using the same leaf, if you want to, you can actually use the paper towel or the baby wipe and wipe it off. Um, or your other option is get a new leaf or color it again. You can color the same leaf more than one time. You can just add more color to it and do it again. So you can do this as many times as you want with the same leaf. Um, if the leaf starts to rip, you might wanna get a new one. And if you notice something maybe didn't show up well the first time, that might give you a clue as to what you need to add more marker to especially. It looks like mine didn't show up as well right in the middle, so I can make sure I really add a lot more there. Um, and you can always change colors, even if you see a little bit of the other color on there, it should be okay if you wanna add a different color to it. I, I wouldn't try and put yellow on top of something that's dark, but if you wanna use like red, like I'm doing instead of purple, something like that's probably gonna be fine. So then once you've colored it again, same deal, um, if you have stuff on your paper towel, you might want to either find a new spot or get a new one so it doesn't mess up the color of the paper. And then you can wipe it again and try the leaf one more time with more marker on it. And remember, just hold it so it doesn't move while you're doing this. You don't ever want to rub on the leaf because then it'll slide it off the paper. You just want to keep pressing. And then once you've pressed down one half, you kind of switch hands and you hold with the other hand and press down the other half. And then you can always take a peek to see if it's working. All right, so there's my second one. So you can see that worked a lot better and you can see the red now instead of the purple. All right, so um, when you get done with these, you can always take your best ones and you could glue them on a piece of construction paper as a frame. So I could frame a couple of these together. Um, I would just glue them down on a piece of construction paper or you could always give them to people at home or friends as gifts. Um, so I hope you have fun, enjoy making leaf prints.